In this video, I will be asking the question, will Splatoon 3 come out in 2021? Make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with any Splatoon 3 news we do get because if we do get any news about Splatoon 3 or any rumours, I will be covering it on the channel and talking about it, offering my thoughts as well. So. Yeah, we'll be doing Splatoon 3 coverage if we do get any, and that is the big question for today's video. Will Splatoon 3 come out in 2021? Now, anybody who has tuned into this channel for a long period of time knows my thoughts on when I think we will get Splatoon 3, and to be honest, my thoughts haven't really changed and I did say early on in the year that I wouldn't be making a video until we do get any news or any rumours or any leaks about Splatoon 3. But there is one aspect, there is one potential thing happening in 2021 that could change things. But yeah, my thought process at the moment is that Splatoon 3 will not be coming out on the Switch. It will be coming out in 2023, 2024 with the next Switch. My opinion hasn't really changed that much. But there is a rumour that has been going on in the community for a long, long time now. And that is Nintendo will release a Switch Pro, an upgrading model for the Switch, maybe offering better resolution for docked play maybe you will be able to play games in 1080p 60 frames per second maybe it will offer some really cool features not necessarily something that will be like next gen for the switch like 4k or something like that but maybe just a little improvement to the switch hardware kind of like going from the 3ds to the new 3ds where it did boast a slight graphical boost maybe that is what nintendo will do with the switch pro but that is the rumor that nintendo will release a new switch model it is known as the switch pro in the community and the reason why we haven't seen a lot of games released on the switch this year is because nintendo they were saving them for the release of the new switch model could Splatoon 3 be one of those games? If you look at how big the game is in Japan, it would move some people over to picking up a Switch Pro. Of course, any games that do come out for the Switch Pro would be supported on all of the Switches out there. So the Switch that I currently have, the Day 1 model, you've got the upgraded battery model, you've got the Switch Lite. So all of the games released that does support the Switch Pro would support all of our Switches. But maybe if Nintendo wanted people to upgrade to a Switch Pro, especially in Japan, Splatoon 3 would be a really big game to do that. And if they did sort of show off the reason why you want to pick up Splatoon 3 on a Switch Pro is that it would offer better visuals, better performance, maybe you could do something else with a Switch Pro version of Splatoon 3, maybe there could be some added benefits in there. But releasing Splatoon 3 alongside Switch Pro next year will definitely move over a lot of people from a Switch to a Switch Pro. But having said that, would the Japanese market really do that? Would they just stick with their current Switch and just play Splatoon 3 if it did come out next year. They aren't typically in the console market, but then again, Nintendo have released handheld sort of revisions in the past and they have done reasonably well in Japan as well. So maybe it could work. And the rumor is that it would release in March and April, a Switch Pro would release in March, April time because there are two games dated for the same day, Balan Wonderworld or Wonderland and Monster Hunter Rise. They are coming out on the 26th of March and people are speculating that maybe the Switch Pro will come out then as well. And a lot of people are speculating that, yeah, we've got Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate on the 3DS and that did release on the same day as the new 3DS. So 
maybe the same sort of thing will happen with the Switch Pro. Maybe Switch Pro would come out. So, say like if a Switch Pro does come out, maybe we could see Splatoon 3 to sort of push the Switch Pro. Maybe Nintendo could treat it as a second launch for the Switch, kind of like what they did in 2017 where we got a bunch of games from March onwards and of course Splatoon 2 was released in July that year so maybe the same sort of thing could happen this time around maybe we could get Splatoon 3 next year that is the current rumour knocking about in terms of the Switch Pro nothing being said about Splatoon 3 but say like if Nintendo wanted to get people over from the Switch to a Switch Pro in Japan then Splatoon 3 would be the perfect game to do it but they kind of got the Japanese market covered with Monster Hunter Rise they go absolutely bananas for Monster Hunter literally they sell millions and millions of copies in Japan so they don't necessarily need to release Splatoon 3 so even though there are rumours knocking about that a Switch Pro will be coming out next year and we will be seeing a lot of games released to sort of support the Switch Pro, to treat it as a second sort of launch for the Switch, to carry it over for a good couple of years until the next gen Switch. I don't think one of those games will be Splatoon 3 unfortunately, because the team are busy working on Animal Crossing New Horizons, doing new updates, and I don't think we would be getting support for Splatoon 2 in terms of Splatfest, in terms of new balance updates if we were going to be getting Splatoon 3 next year. So yeah, my thoughts haven't really changed a lot since early on in the year despite this new Switch Pro rumour. Definitely Splatoon 3 if so like, you know, we did get a Switch Pro. Splatoon 3, if it did have better visuals, better performance, even though I do believe Splatoon 2 offers 60 FPS most of the time, could be wrong on that. But I guess one way a Switch Pro could improve like Splatoon is I do believe there is dynamic resolution, so whenever a lot of stuff does happen in Splatoon 2, the resolution does drop. I do believe from 900p to 720p, so maybe a Switch Pro could sort of alleviate that, get rid of that, and it would always be running at 900p. But yeah, just to go back on my thoughts, a new Switch Pro is rumoured. There are rumours that a lot of games will be released from Nintendo to support the new Switch Pro. It's not going to be a next gen Switch, it's just going to be like the new 3DS. There will not be any exclusive software. I don't think Nintendo would do that because why would they exclude the 70 million people that have already got a Switch? They wouldn't do that, but maybe a Switch Pro could have sort of better sort of technology in there so it would allow games to run at a constant frame rate better resolution it would offer a slight bump in the graphics for games that we already own on the switch so yeah basically a lot of games will be released next year that is the current rumor but will splatoon 3 be one of them i don't think it will be i think like what i have said before we will just get the main games on a one per console sort of situation. What I am hoping for though is that we will see a spin-off game instead to fill out the schedule, to fill out the gap between now and the next gen system. So yeah, I just wanted to sort of comment on the new Switch Pro rumours and what it could mean for Splatoon 3. Feel like Nintendo will treat it like a Switch Lite and they want to release software to showcase that new upgraded model and Splatoon 3 would definitely, like what I said before, it would definitely be a showcase game for people in Japan and maybe people in Japan will look at it, see maybe a slight graphical improvement from Splatoon 2 on the current Switch and they might pick up the game and Switch Pro as well but I don't think that will happen, I think Monster Hunter Rise will be that game for Japan and yeah I think we will have to wait for Splatoon 3 so 
let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and yeah i will be making another video on splatoon 3 as soon as we do get any news any rumors any leaks but yeah in terms of with i think splatoon 3 will come out alongside the switch pro i don't think we will there has been zero evidence for that at all and i guess the switch pro is just a rumor at the moment it could not be a thing in 2021 but a lot of industry insiders are saying that it will be happening next year so yeah it does seem like the switch pro will be coming out but in terms of splatoon 3 nothing is being rumored about it is not being talked about it is not rumored at all at the moment so yeah i think we will get the switch pro but i don't think we will get splatoon 3 but definitely i'm looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say about that in the comment section below does the switch pro change things in when you think we will get splatoon 3 i guess if nintendo are treating splatoon as a one per console sort of game series and if the switch pro does make the switch life cycle last longer then it could mean that we might have to wait even longer than 2023 2024 for the next splatoon sort of game in the main franchise it could mean that we might have to wait longer for splatoon 3 but that is just speculation at the moment. If Splatoon 3 is going to come out next year in 2021, we could get hints at that as early as the 1st of January because Nintendo does post a Splatoon related artwork celebrating New Year. And last year we did get the image saying save our salmons and it did get a lot of people speculating on whether it could be hinting at Splatoon 3 or Splatoon 2 DLC or a new spin-off game mode. So yeah look out for that artwork because if it does follow on the same theme, the save our salmons theme, then it could be a hint at Splatoon 3 but I don't think that image is anything at all but who knows if we do get a follow-up image then yeah it could be hinting at something like a Splatoon 3 but I am just going to stick to what I have said many times I'm not expecting Splatoon 3 anytime soon and yeah that's just pretty much all I have to say about Splatoon 3 for now. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I will see you in another video soon, hopefully.